deplane this aircraft will not be allowed back on board to retrieve it. Just landed in, in Charleston, South Carolina. The weather's the exact same in, as, as it is in Nashville. I'm assuming this is where we're supposed to go. You know, I don't know if it's just me being a musician myself. But it's, it's always so easy to spot like musicians flying. Typically it's all black and, and pelican cases. It's, that's, that's a dead giveaway. But I don't know if it's just because I... It's a dead giveaway. Rental car. Did we get a car? Not, a, not an SUV. We ended up upgrading to an SUV. We did have a, a car, but it's cold here. Well, this is where the rental car... Keep walking direction, okay. I don't think we're in the right spot, considering I'm pretty sure these are all personal vehicles with the, the hatch. It's probably over there. It just seems like... When I put it on the scale, it was 49.98 pounds. <sighs> this seems more promising. Another elevator. No stairs this time. Excuse me, ma'am. They said the... They said the keys were in it. I'm so glad that most cars have Apple CarPlay now. It, it should just be something that was implemented a long time ago. It makes it so much easier. Navigation systems in cars just have always sucked and Apple CarPlay made everything level. Why are all these cars emergency flashers on? So the flight we just took was was only like 54 minutes or something like it, but for some reason it just it felt way longer than than 54 minutes. All right, it's like 12 our time, one their time, and I think we're gonna go get food now. How do I get out of here? Being a musician for however long I've been a musician, one of the, the most common questions that I get, oh, don't fall there, In what? is why do all musicians wear like all black? And I can't really answer for anybody but myself, but for me, one of the main reasons, well, there's, a, there's a couple reasons actually, but one of the main reasons is a lot of times when, when I'm hired to do stuff, I wanna blend in in the background, especially being a drummer. So my default is to wear darker colors. That way I don't pull away from like whatever act is, is being put in front. If I do get requested to like wear something different or wear like a vibe, type thing that fits the, the lead singer or whatever, then obviously I'll do that. But as my default, it's gonna be all black. Well, let me, let me, I need to explain to you what we actually did after we got, so after we, after we landed, we got a rental car and once, once we left the airport, we ended up going to lunch with one of Savannah's college friends. Savannah used to work at a coffee shop on, on campus in college and we're with the people that she used to work with, like they've, they've stayed in touch and they're, they're great friends and that's, that's what this is. It's basically just a beach trip for for that. So once we once we got the rental car and we left the airport, we met one of her friends for lunch, which was was great. The the bathroom was blaring Beat It by, by Michael Jackson. 
Very encouraged. And then after that, we came back here, which is our, our Airbnb, which is on the beach in uh, next to Charleston. It's about 45 minutes outside of Charleston, where we're gonna be staying till Wednesday. And today is our first, our first full day. Started by going on a, I accidentally went on a seven mile run. I was supposed to go like six, but I got a little bit lost. And I actually had a, a running buddy with me today, uh, but I ended up losing him like two miles in. I lost Seth. And then after after my run, I uh, I just I walked on the beach barefoot for a little bit to cool down. Barefoot on the beach. Okay, now you're completely completely caught up. Oh, and I I got coffee. I have no idea what we're doing today. I think we're going to church, and then S Savannah kind of is planning this whole thing. I'm just kind of going with the flow. So if these vlogs feel like that, I'm I'm sorry. This view is incredible, though. All right, showered, shaved, brushed off. I'm ready to go. I'm just leaving in like 15 minutes. So we're supposed to be leaving in like 10 minutes, but the girls are nowhere to be found. The only thing that's important is I'm ready to go and it won't be the reason that we're late. Hey Seth, how was your morning run? <laughs> so I got a comment a couple days ago and I've been thinking about it a lot and it was regarding, so I made a video talking about why I don't like heartbeat symbols personally and why I choose to use what I do. And somebody basically made a comment saying like they, they agreed with the heartbeat thing but then they were talking about dream symbols which for those of you that don't know dream is an inexpensive symbol company they make great symbols and they're they're pr typically inexpensive and from my experience and talking to other drummers you either love dream or you you don't like dream and i just i made a comment basically saying that i didn't particularly Compared to my Zildjian symbols, I prefer my Zildjian symbols over every other company, including Dream. And then I actually got a DM from another person uh, talking about that and saying that they basically defending Dream symbols, but they felt they felt very strongly about defending it and their stance on, on Dream symbols, which is totally fine. That's that's totally fine. Like there's nothing wrong with that. But that got me thinking about brands and companies and why there are so many brands and companies. So I feel like when people, when you when you purchase a product from a specific company, you're, for all intents and purposes, you're investing in that company. You're spending your hard earned cash on one of their products that they produce. And because of that, I wonder if I can jump over this because I have to walk down there. I'm just gonna walk around. And because of that, you, you feel emotionally tied to said company. And then when somebody comes out and says like, like negative things or things that you, uh, not positive things about that company, we, we kind of take it to heart, even if, uh, even if we don't mean to. And you can see this on basically any forum on the internet talking about gear. It doesn't have to be just music stuff. It can be camera gear, camera gear, music gear any kind of gear, it's all the same when people's personal money and their gear is, is involved. Now, all that to be said, there's a million companies and they, they make, most of them make amazing products. Like it doesn't matter if it's Zildjian, Sabian, Meinl, Heartbeat Dream, or any of those, those companies, they all make great, great products. And you can pretty much do anything with, with any of them. You're not gonna be missing something if you choose Meinl over is Istanbul or Zildjian over Sabian or, or something like that. They're, they all do amazing jobs at pretty much, pretty much everything that you would need. What is this? So then the next question that comes up naturally is how do I pick between each different company if they all do the same exact thing? For me, when I'm looking for gear, I when I'm looking for gear, I focus on what I specifically do. Like not what I'm going to do, but what I'm specifically doing currently right then and there and how I go about doing that. So for me, I know that most of my work is going to be country or CCM or, or something like that. If I'm looking for ride symbols, then I'm going to start looking at companies, pingy washy rides that they have to offer and start narrowing my search down based on that. Once I have that figured out, then I'm going to start thinking about how I play, how I play my symbols. Do I need something that's going to be able to handle harder hitting or do I actually hit pretty light and I can have more delicate, lighter symbols that don't need to be as, as durable? 
And keep in mind, this is starting completely new. Like you don't have any existing symbols, you don't have any existing gear. Like you're starting from square one. What do you What do you need to get to get started? And then once you have the first two things figured out, what you actually need them for, and then how you specifically play, then the only thing left is to listen to a bunch of different cymbals and find ones that sound good to you. Because the most important thing is that you love the way they sound. If you don't like the way they sound, you're not going to play as well because you're not going to be confident in your gear. And if you don't like the way your cymbals sound, that's just going to be one more thing that's going to distract you from doing your job when you're playing live or recording or, or whatever you're doing. You need to love the way your gear sounds. So I'm walking down, like downtown by our, where our Airbnb B is which is just back there and there's like nobody down here granted it's like it's supposed to be it's winter so it's off season you guys singing here's good reminds me of home so we're here in South Carolina and I do not remember South Carolina being this nice the only other time I've ever gone to South Carolina was when I was playing at elevation the South Carolina, Columbia, South Carolina campus didn't have a drummer for like two years. And because of that, I was contracted to come down like every other weekend. That's the only place I ever saw in, in South Carolina. I literally would show up Saturday night at the hotel and then wake up early Sunday morning play and then go home right afterwards. So I only got like maybe two hours to actually see Columbia. So it's nice to see different parts of South Carolina, especially when it's not hot. So I do remember the Columbia hum humidity and heat in July, and that, I'm okay not seeing that again. So right now, I'm just kind of walking around downtown. Our hotel's like way, way back there. Everybody's back at the hotel. I just, uh, I wanted to take some time for, for me, just to help me like kind of just think a little bit. Nothing wrong, I just, I've always liked going on walks, and it's, it's a good way for me to, to clear my head. Long story long, I'm just, I'm going for a walk right now and I love it. I think these are all the branches of the military. Army, Marines, Navy, Air Force, Space Force, Coast Guard. It's kind of amazing. This lady invited me up here. Uh, writes books on Sullivan's Island. Yeah. Daughter did that by hand. I love that. Yeah, I was walking by and I'm like, that looks cool. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Thank you. I was just checking these these murals out out front, and the owner came out and told me a little bit about about that place and those murals. Somebody painted all of that by hand. I love that. One of the reasons I love going on walks. It's so cool! I also love World War II stuff and they had a bunch of World War II stuff in there, so my night was made. You know, I ran down here this morning and it looked completely different than what it looks like right now. Have you ever noticed that? At nighttime, things just look completely, completely different. Savannah and I had a friend a couple years ago that, uh, <laughs> He actually, he was convinced and he was serious that this was like a real thing, which it might be, I honestly don't know. He was convinced that he was night blind, meaning that he can drive and like see things in the day, but at night he, he can't see anything. I think he was just kidding. I think he was talking about driving a car. I, I'm pretty sure he was just kidding because he was like, it's so easy to drive during the day, but then it's pretty hard to drive drive at night and I feel like that's just a universal thing like it's objectively more difficult to drive at night than it is in in the daytime much like it's objectively more difficult to drive in heavy rainstorm than it is to drive on a sunny day one of the things that I love about doing videos like this and just just making videos in general and carrying carrying a camera around basically 24 7 is I get to meet and record and capture so many cool things and so many cool people like that that bar that i went to i think it was a bar i'm not really sure what it was to be honest it was cool whatever it was but i i would have if i didn't have a camera i would have never never been able to like do that or meet that person or hear her story or the story of those murals it's one thing that i love about being able to do to do this oh that was so cool i still don't know what that was but it was cool whatever it was check out this cup holder Nice. So I'm uh, I'm currently trying to upload a video and it's gonna take, let me just show you, two hours and 30 minutes to upload. One thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna turn off the like go to sleep mode for tonight 
and just let it upload because if it turns or if it goes to sleep then it'll stop uploading okay i'll see you tomorrow